Hi there. We've talked about pruning climbing roses in the video, How to Prune a Climbing Rose. But what we haven't covered yet is what do you do when you start to get old canes on a rose. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. The arbor behind me is the same one that's in my video, How to Cover an Arbor with Roses. And the rose over here is an old rev door that's now about five or six years old. And there's one old cane that is getting wooded over and the growth is getting kind of spindly. I'm going to cut that cane out. And the whole idea is to try to spur some new growth. But before I do that, let me show you the exact cane that it is and why I've decided now is the time to get this cane out of here. This is the cane I'm talking about. Can you see how it's gotten all wooded over right here? It's even got like bark on it that you could even peel off if you had to. It's a big part of the plant, there's no doubt about it. But I also know that when I take this out, what I'm going to get from the base of this plant is new growth to take its place. And as this cane is now starting to wear itself out, I'd rather have that new fresh growth because that's going to give me better flowering. This is the cane in question right here. And I'm just going to follow it on up the arbor here. And you can see that it's wooded over. Even here, where at about six feet high, it's wooded over and not producing much growth. And if I just continue to follow that up, pardon the handheld aspect, by the way. Hope it doesn't make you nauseous. That does my wife. Um, you can see up here in particular where there is some branching out. Now here at the top of the arbor, it's kind of spindly. It's thin. All the eyes have broken. I'm really not going to get new growth by doing any kind of trimming there. So in other words, this cane is now finished. It's done its job. It's time to retire it. And by doing that, that's going to give me the new growth. So now we're going to go ahead and take it out. We're now back down at the base of the plant. This is the cane right here. You can kind of tell by all the wood and stuff. Well, now we're going to do something that, if you've never done this before, it's one of the most nerve-wracking things you will ever do to your roses. We are going to take a pruning saw, and we are going to do exactly what I said, and I'm going to take this cane out at the base. And I'm just going to do a nice, easy cut right through it. And I'll probably, with this cane when I'm done, because it's so thick, this is about an inch and a half to two inches thick, I'm going to go ahead and seal this cane when I'm done, this wound when I'm done. There we go. That cane is now out. And what I've now done is I've got this piece here, and all of this growth down here is going to start getting stimulated. That's ready to go. So what this is going to now do is start to stimulate some brand new growth. What I'm now going to do is just follow this up and cut it out of the rose completely on the arbor. The dirty deed is done. I've taken out the old cane. I've pulled the growth out of the canopy of the arbor. In fact, this is all the cuttings from the one cane that I took out, this whole pile behind me. And here is the cane itself in question. This is the old cane. That was a big old thing, as you can see. Now, I realize you're probably thinking, that's an enormous amount of growth to take out. You've got nothing left. Hang on. As you can see, there's an enormous amount of growth still on that arbor right now to work with. Good, vigorous, strong growth which I put down a good horse poop, by the way. So what I'm going to do now is just prune the rose like I'd prune any other climbing rose, and then we're going to wait. And I'm going to have you wait with me, because what I want to do now is finish my pruning job here before it gets too far late in the season. I've already left it a little bit too long. And then in a couple months, we'll come back, we'll have a look at the base of that plant that I cut that old cane out, and we're going to see some new growth coming up, and then I can explain to you how we're going to move on from here and how we're going to start working this on a yearly basis to make sure this rose always has good, clean growth. It's now middle of May, about two months later. And before I take you to Rev Door, though, to see if I'm getting that new cane from the base that I'm hoping for, I want to show you some other shrub roses that I also took some old canes out, and let's see if they're getting new canes as well. I figure if I show you a few more than just the one, you might believe me a little bit more. This is the old T-Rose Blumenschmidt, and you can see I cut a good chunk of the rose out here, but take a look. I've got a new cane back here, and I've got a new cane right here. I've got two so far coming up. And I expect I'll get some more on this side coming up as well. This is Souvenir de Una Me, another old tea rose. And I took a big piece out over on that side of the rose earlier this year. And you can see one. Back here there's two. Here's three. And here's four new canes that have sprung up from the base of this plant. This is an old plant, as you can see. It's got to be 15 years old. Now, you're probably looking at this one out over here and thinking, wait a minute, that's at least seven, eight inches away from the center of the plant. That's not a new cane. That's a sucker or understock. It's not. This is an own root rose, and this is one of the reasons I love own root roses. This is indeed souvenir de una me. I don't care how far away it is from the center of that rose. And that, to me, is why own root roses rejuvenate far better than grafted roses, and that's why I prefer them. This is it, the moment of truth. When you may remember two months ago when I left Rev Door, this is what the base looked like. We cut away that one main cane, hoping that what we'd end up with is more new growth. Well, here we are two months on. Take a look. You can see I've got a cane that's already close to two feet high coming out of the base of that plant. 
and I suspect before the end of the year I'll probably have two or three more. That cane is coming out right underneath where I did the growth, and that's going to replace the old cane with fresh, blooming wood, and I'm going to have a spectacular season next year with Revdor. I just want to wrap this up by talking a little bit about how we're going to move forward with this in the years to come. Basically, it's real simple. Every two or three years or so, I'm going to take out another old cane. Now, I don't have a time schedule. It's not like I'm going to write it on the calendar, take out old cane. I'm going to let the rose decide when it's time to tell me to take out an old cane. Wooded over, bloomed out, not producing flowers, tired, done its job. So I'm going to take out an old cane knowing fully well I'm going to have new canes. I'll tie those new canes into the arbor. I'll take out another old cane at some point. I'll get new canes, tie those new canes into the arbor. And the process just goes on every single year. You're constantly stimulating new growth. And that is, again, one of the other reasons I don't like to use the word pruning my roses. I like to use the word rejuvenating my roses.